Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech. Today we're going to take a look at the technical features that makes the Yangwang U9 Extreme the fastest car in the world. An all-electric hypercar that just blasted to a verified top speed of 496 kilometers an hour, that's 308 miles an hour, at the ATP test track in Germany, a run that by published numbers makes it the fastest production car on the planet. This record is a result of a stack of engineering choices that let electricity, heat management, aerodynamics and electronics work together in perfect harmony. Let's break down the five tech pillars that make the 308 miles an hour possible. Okay, so first up is the ultra high voltage architecture. Most EVs run on 400 or 800 volt systems. The U9 Extreme uses a 1200 volt architecture essentially a much wider electrical highway. That higher voltage lets enormous power flow with lower current, which reduces heat and wiring demands and lets the car deliver ultra high instantaneous power more safely and efficiently. BYD and Yang Wang say that this platform can support extremely high currents and dramatically cuts heat generation compared with an 800 volt system. The battery Blade LFP. The U9 Extreme uses BYD's Blade battery, lithium ion prospate chemistry. But it's not just the chemistry. BYD tuned the cells and packed for a very high discharge rate. The company cites a 30C figure for the Extreme. In short, the pack can dump massive current to the motors repeatedly without overheating or losing structural safety. Exactly what you need for sustained ultra high speed. And reports also point out the pack's ability to sustain very high power even at relatively low state of charge. Moving on to the motors. The U9 Extreme uses a quad motor setup. That's four motors, one motor per wheel. And those motors can spin up to 30,000 RPM. The reports are a combined system output in a ballpark figure of 300 PS, roughly 2,978 brake horsepower, a figure that gives the cars its mind-bending acceleration and top-end surge. To get that performance, the motors use very thin silicon steel stators, aerospace grade rotors and housing. Components chosen for performance and to keep losses down at very high RPM. So the thermal and power management. Make no mistakes, at this level thermal control is a limiting factor. The 1200 volt system reduces resistive heating, the blade cells tolerate high discharge and the car's power electronics and cooling systems are energized to keep everything in performance window. Reporting highlights the platform's superior heat management versus lower voltage systems and claims the pack can deliver huge power even as charge falls, a critical advantage on a long high speed run. So chassis, aero tyres and active suspension. Pushing through air at 300 plus miles an hour is mostly about aerodynamics and mechanical stability. Yang Wang trimmed drag, modified front end and carbon splitter and used track grade semi-slick tyres and specially tuned suspension, the DI SUS X active system. The quad motor layout also enables ultra fast torque vectoring. The computers adjust torque at each wheel hundreds of times per second, which helps keep the car straight and predictable as it accelerates into the stratosphere. Now, of course, there are specially designed lightweight wheels and tires. And if you notice, the driver backs off as they reach close to the 500 kilometers. Now, these specially designed tires are only rated to 500 kilometers an hour. So I think the driver backs off and was playing it safe and bailed out. As you can tell, the car was still pulling hard. So that wraps up the current fastest car in the world. If you like this video, you want to see more, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care.